one of them is memorization. So he has already done that. Inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So he's a good example for uh, everyone. <laughs> Be a poor example, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh, and as I said, three goals of this class, one is memorization, one is tajweed, working on the rules of tajweed. Now, when we talk about the fun of tajweed or the subject of tajweed, two things, and I discussed earlier also, but it's good to remind. One is called makharij. One uh, part of the tajweed is makharij. Makharij is the jama or plural of makhraj. Makhraj is the place of the pronunciation in our mouth, from our tongue, then from our throat, from our lips. These are called points of articulation. In Arabic, we call them makhraj or makhraj. <coughs> so how to pronounce ta, how to pronounce ta. Now this is the beauty of Arabic that two letters are in contrast with each other. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, for non-Arabic people, it looks like same. Mm -hmm. So that's why they pronounce same ta and ta. Mm -hmm. Not making a difference, but it's a huge difference mm -hmm. in both letters and it can change the meaning also. Mm -hmm. So here we have the word for example, mutaffifin with ta. Oh. Okay? So, we cannot pronounce with ta. Likewise, zal, I mean, za, that the uh, same pronunciation of sound as the letter z in English, as compared to dal, 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 mm. that is soft. Mm. We do not have the sound of za in dal. Mm -hmm. And also, the third letter is wa, wa. Now, it is more heavier sound and we, there should be no sound of za in wa. Now, these three letters are different, so we have to differentiate between these sounds. Seen and saw. Seen is thin, saw is thick. I'm, uh, let me give you the example of two words. One is with seen, with this, one is saw. You say in Arabic the word saha. Saha with seen, seen alif and ha, saha. Saha. Yeah, saha we will pronounce it thin. It means to travel. Mm -hmm. When you travel, it's mm -hmm. saha yasihu. We also call say in Urdu, <coughs> siyahat. Right? Sair wa siyaha. Hmm? However, if you pronounce with saw, that is a different word. Saha. Saha. Saha means to shout, mm -hmm. mm, to make that big sound that is Saha. If someone will not pronounce Saha properly while he is reading this word and he is pronouncing like Saha, mm. so he is changing the meaning. Mm -hmm. So it is very important. So this is one part of the Tajweed. And uh, I also, I would like to focus on this makharij again, one more time, though we have discussed uh, earlier, but I think this is the time again to remind all these makharij. And if you remember that we sent, uh, you know, in the email, an attachment for the rules of the Jew, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you still have it, and if you have the hard copy, you know, you can print out. Mm -hmm. Brother Kanishka, do you remember sending that, you know, attachment? The PDF one? Yes, PDF format. Uh, I think so, yeah. I think I should have it. Okay. So, if you can send it again. Okay. Hmm? <coughs> so, uh, print out these makhari. These are only seven, eight pages, not more than that. Mm. So, we will gradually and slowly we will talk about all these maharis. Okay? Then the second part of the tajweed is the rules of, uh, you know, about how to make ghunna, how to make, make ikhfa, izhar, mm -hmm. how to make mud and all that. Mm -hmm. 
khair inshallah now the third objective of the class is meaning and brief tafsir and word to word meanings also so we are coming to that part so the name of the sura is mutaffifin this is also a plural this is a group of people those who are dealing in that manner they are called mutaffifin wahid singular of that will be mutaffif and when you add ya and noon in the end it becomes a jama plural like a muslim person one muslim person is muslim when you make the jama it becomes muslimin mu'minin so with ya noon it becomes jama in arabic mutaffifin who are mutaffifin and what is the uh, you know dealing that is called tatfif those people who are <coughs> short in measuring and in uh, weighing weighing the things so apparently kab uh, inshallah in the evening time today okay. Cheating. cheating yes cheaters cheaters yes those who are cheating deceiving making fraud Maybe in that. their commercial you know transactions in their businesses yes well arabs famous at that time doing this no, not all the arab it comes in the uh, in the tafsir of these ayat that the people of madina before islam people of madina it was prevalent in their uh, society or in their custom that they were doing that so as soon as rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam arrived in madina allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right away revealed these ayat so is this makki or madni okay there is a controversy about this surah but uh, this is one of the surah that was at the threshold between these two periods like last stage of makkah and beginning stage of madina but especially for these six ayat from 1 to 6 the majority of the ulama or the mufassir they said that is what it was revealed in madina the literal meaning of mutaffifin yes literal literal means if you put some water in a glass mm. it spills over mm. it's called butuf butuf means spills over fills so over yes yeah. sp- spills over from the sides uh-huh. so over over filling and over. spills over hmm. so mutaffifin means probably wallahu alam hmm. when you put something in in a scale ha ah. they right they so put extra put yeah. extra or put less or something like that yes i maybe you know the uh, some people when those who are uh, cheating they put some extra weight mm. on on one one type of you know, on one side of the scale yeah. okay and they are weighing so you are thinking that it is complete 1 pound or 1 kilogram <laughs> but uh, or is you know actually in reality it is only 800 grams 900 grams is it that they are overfilling it to show it to you but on the other hand they are cheating uh, mm-hmm. negative weights yes weight? yes, yes. कमर्शियल ट्रांजेक्शन बट इज नॉट ओनली दैट इन ईच एंड एवरी मैटर एंड दिस इज द्यूमन नेचर that by nature human in allah subhanahu the way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us we do not uh, want to be treated with injustice right mm-hmm. and with cheating and deceiving mm-hmm. but what happens when we are expecting from other people for ourselves we expect from them that they should treat it nicely mm-hmm. but when it comes to us when when we treat them at that time human being they try to cheat other people mm-hmm. they not they do not want to be cheated by others mm-hmm. but they want to cheat other <laughs> you know mm-hmm. th- this is something 
but by nature we do not want and we all realize or we understand that this is a cheating mm. and we don't want to do that mm. for ourselves so this also shows that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the human beings with this fitrah with this nature mm. that by nature we want justice we want adl mm. okay but there are some other uh, evil things evil ideas and bad thoughts they come into the minds of people mm-hmm. and that's why they start cheating other people and one good example was given in that tafsir that those people who are thief for example mm-hmm. hmm, they want to go to the houses of the people to the businesses they rob the people mm-hmm. but if you want to ask them do you want also to be robbed by other people mm-hmm. they say no Mm-hmm. like do you want that someone come some other thieves they come to your home mm-hmm. and and they do the same thing with you mm-hmm. and with your property with your money with your they say no so this is the human nature so by by nature every human being knows that this uh, type you know of uh, cheating deceiving making fraud this is not good and uh, that's why no one wants for himself They are so very smart. They keep their money in the bank. They don't give it to <laughs> whatever. But from any place, they don't want that other people that took their money. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Khair. Now the word wail. This is a common word of the Quran, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has uh, used it in so many surahs and ayat. So it is uh, uh, to denote that this is a very this is a thing that they are doing it is it's bringing destruction so destroyed are those people wo you will see the translation in the english wo to those people w o e wo meaning destruction on the, on those people curse of allah subhanahu wa taala on those people that is the meaning of or the concept of wail like wail li kulli humazatin lumaza wail in yawma idhil lil mukadhibin okay so wail wo to those people who are defrauders mutaffifin defrauders those who are making fraud especially in measuring and weighing the things alladhina those who alladhina is the jama of alladhi we have uh, discussed this several times idaktalu what do you think by the meaning of idaktalu when they Wait. measure ik uh, you know the meaning of ida when iktalu <laughs> is the verb from kail the root word of iktalu is kail kala yakilu kailan in arabic to measure you know when we have these uh, Uh, commercial transactions and we are weighing and measuring the things there are two types of commodities one is liquid one is solid for solid things usually we weigh them for liquid things we measure them right so this is iktal alan nasi yastawfun alan nasi to the people yastawfun they want to receive it in full yes tawfun is from wafa when you are taking whatever is due in full so this is one side of the picture that you are buying the things from other people and you want them to measure the things in full so this is the meaning of yes tawfun waida kaluhum but when they measure the things for other people so that was the buying part now this is the selling part when they are selling the things to other people and when they are measuring how so, yes kalu kalu to weigh to weigh the things like the kalu or to measure ha to measure the so same thing same thing yes okay. so literal meaning of kalu hum will be measure for them ha yes measure for them 
and is iktalu when they are measuring when or they are receiving these people are receiving in measure in measurement okay so vaida kalu hum when they measure the things for them au wazanu hum au means or wazanu from wazan we wazanu hum yes scale hum is pronoun for them so they are they are weighing ha they are weighing to them because whom is pronoun mare ke bhaiya jaise hote hain all right yukhsirun yukhsirun they short in measure or in weight khasara from khasara yes like uh, sometimes it is used for losing losers so here they are losing the weight and yani they are short in measure الا يظن doesn't he think or all these people don't they believe ulaika that they ulaika they annahum mab'uthun they will be resurrected mab'uth is from ba'tha ah yawm al ba's is the day of resurrection when everyone will come to the life again ulaika annahum mab'uthun so annahum means apart they they oh ulaika annahum ulaika they and again annahum that they anna means that okay ha and then whom again don't they think so it is uh, to give like uh, emphasizing on on that Uh, meaning they don't they think that they again like that mab'uthun is the jama' of mab'uth li yawmin azim so they will be resurrected on the, the great day, day for a great day yawm is day azim is great or mighty a very big day what that great day is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explaining in the next ayah yawma yaqumun nasu a day when all the human beings will be standing yaqumu is from qama yaqumu is qiyam you know qiyam means standing when they will be standing li rabbil alamin before the their lord lord the sustainer the master of all the alamin ya rabbil alamin and the one who knows each and every action each and every human being kalla inna kitab al fujjar la fi sijil kalla what is the meaning of kalla be ne inna means indeed indeed kitab means book 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 of deeds book of deeds ha huh. i like you know that every human being has the book of deed fujjar fujjar who are fujjar wicked wicked people sinners mm-hmm. this is also the jama plural mm-hmm. what do you think what is the singular of fujjar fajir 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 is one fujjar is jama so the book of the deeds of the sinners or the wicked people lafi sijil is in a place that is called sijil okay sijil the literal meaning of sijil is prison jail or prison that is sijil okay but sijil over here is not meant in the literal meaning there is really there is a place that allah subhanahu wa taala has appointed for uh, keeping the record of the bad people the sinner people that is called sijil okay and then allah subhanahu wa taala explaining himself that he says wa ma adraka ma sijil who explained to you who told you that what the sijil is now you are familiar with this expiration wama adraka 
it comes also frequent in the Quran. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ Right? وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا يَوْمُ الدِّينِ وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا يَوْمُ الدِّينِ So like that here, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا سِجِّي And do you know? And what? What told you? And what explained to you? Right? مَا سِجِّي In that, what is the سِجِّي? I think the meaning of it is to make it important. Important, yes, yes. This is the way like when you, before informing something, when you ask in questioning style, so, and the, the listener does not know the answer, so now he is paying more attention. Yeah. So to get to attention. And do you know? And do you know, yes. Kitabum marqum. That sijin is a written record. Kitab, book or the record. Marqum, Marqum means written. Raqama, in Arabic, Raqama Yartumu means to write down. Like you are writing now, it is called Raqam in Arabic. And what is the meaning of the fi? Okay, fi means in Lam for. Lam actually is for taqid over here. It does not meaning the for. The meaning for for it's with the kasra. That now will be with kasra like li. Oh, okay. That means for. Oh, okay. Like li yawmin. But with lam fatha la, it is called lamut taqeed. Okay. For more emphasis. Emphasis. Okay. Yes. Lovely. Yeah, like indeed, indeed, the, the book of the deeds of the sinners is in a place that is called sinji. It is the record that is documented. When we write, that, that thing becomes documented, recorded. So this is a meaning of Marqum. Root word for Marqum is Rakam? Rakam, no. Those people who have beautiful handwriting. Now, people, they do not write by hand. It's all, you know, typing <laughs> and <laughs> modern <laughs> period of computer, but it used to be people, they used to write by hand, right? Mm. So, the newspapers in Arabic, Urdu, Farsi, you know, they, they uh, you know, write them down. They will rakam it. They will rakam it, yes. So, especially for that calligraphy, for that writing, and beautiful and writing, that was the terminology for Rakam. Mm -hmm. And those who are very like Ustaz in, in, this, in this field. Mm -hmm. So in Urdu, there was a title for them, a very expert in good writing, mm -hmm. Jadu Rakam. Jadu Rakam. Jadu Jadu Rakam. Rakam. Huh. Like his writing is like a magic. Mm -hmm. you know? He, he does the magic when he's writing, so they call it so Jadu Rakam. It's really, it's calligraphy. Yes, it's calligraphy, yes. yes. Nowadays. Ah. Yes. Yes. Khattar. Yes. In Arabic, it's Khattar. But uh, uh, the meaning of... There is another meaning of uh, Rakam when you use it as the noun in Arabic, that means number. Hmm. Numbers also, right. Rakam. So there are two, you know, different usage. If you use as the verb rakama, that means to write. Rakam on sukun on kaf as a noun, it means number. Ma huwa rakam telefonic, what is the number of your phone? Ma huwa rakam safha, what is the number of the page? So you use it as number. So marqum here is not rakam. It's not in the numbers meaning, no. but it is written from the book. Al ismul maf'ul min fi'l raqama. Ayywa. And if there is a little bit association in the meaning of numbers also, because numbers are also written down. Like the page number that is written down, right? Yes. If uh, you are asking the telephone number, that number is also, you mm -hmm. know, written down. <laughs> So, uh, anything that uh, 
is like a record or doc and, documented. And, and it is, everything is called also. This cause, like whatever you do, mm. whatever bad, yes. has some number no, at, no. attached to it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, khair, inshallah. So I think our, every word is, uh, de- has been described well, mm. explained. Mm. Alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our knowledge mm. and understanding of the Quran, inshallah. Mm. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with the barakah and with the blessing of the Qur'an by its knowledge and by implementing the teachings of the Qur'an in our life, inshaAllah. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Sallallahu ta'ala ala khaira khalqihi Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa ta'in. Bi rahmatika ya Ahmad wa Ahmad.